I appreciate you taking the time with us here. And uh, uh, first thing, back in the background, I see uh, the stadium is still coming along, and it's not going to be ready for the season opener, but uh, you'll be in it by the second home game. And I know you guys are excited to get that thing built because Coach was telling me it's really nice. Yes, sir. It's very nice. I can't wait to play in it. See all the fans, all the supporters and stuff like that. You got the cat crazies out there, right? Yeah. Going nuts? Yes, sir. Let's talk a little bit about your receivers. Uh, you're one of five guys that Coach said can all really, really play, and everybody knows y'all are going to really throw it around a lot, but you've got a guy in the backfield that's pretty much as good as anybody in Columbia. So bottom line is the offense has got big expectations, but you guys have the firepower, I think, to live up to it. Talk about, number one, your receiving core, all of you guys. The receiving core is real good. We have um, Hopper and Shaddy and Jason Rum and Oscar. They all push me to get better and stuff like that. And they can all catch the ball. They run good routes and everything. Yeah, it, it's it's like some some receiving groups. You've got the two guys that can you know could do this, and then the other two guys are burners. But pretty much all of you guys can do it all. Isn't that is that fair to say that you kind of all have the well-rounded skill set? Yes, sir. Me and Oscar, we're like the burners, and Hopper and Jason and Tasha all like the jumpers, the jump balls, people in the red zone. Uh huh. Now, uh, is, does it get pretty competitive between you guys since you've got so many guys that are really good? How, how, how does that go? It gets real competitive. I play both ways, like DB, so I always talk drop to them uh -huh. to make them better. So. so I guess that there's times when you're checking them in practice, right? Yeah. And so I bet that gets interesting. Uh, let's talk about defense because everyone knows that Lexington's loaded on offense on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, more question marks. You're a returning starter. Started every game last year as a sophomore. Give me your evaluation of where the defense is right now and how good it can eventually be right now we're, we're still working we have Trey Mitchell and Nick Graves and Eric Ricker are back but I'm starting corner now this year and we're still trying to fill in some holes and, it, and I and I take that out you started at wide receiver every game last year not corner my bad yes, so so again that that talks to the fact that there is some inexperience there as far as playing on that side of the ball but do you do feel like you feel like you guys are going to be good to go that that's not that's not that big a question mark. No, sir. Okay. Hey man, um I know you guys are not playing this week and you open with West Side at River Bluff Stadium, which is which is kind of an odd thing. But as far as this week with um with other all not every team, but a lot of other teams playing, is that tough to to sit and you know, go, I I'm, I guess you'll go to see someone play, but yeah. wouldn't you rather be out there? That that would drive me nuts to know that everybody was playing but we weren't. Yes, sir. It drives me crazy. I want to just get on feeling this. You're ready to get out there? Yes, sir. All right, Day Day Wells, appreciate the time, man, and uh, good luck to you a week from Friday uh, against Westside at River Bluff Stadium. All right, Thank man. You. Thank you.